As a boat owner, I like to go out on the water, but sometimes I don't have my boat with me. If I'm in Hobart at the moment, or I might be in Sydney or in Auckland, um, I can't get out on the water, I can't take my boat with me. So knowing many people that have boats that can't find crew to go sailing or go fishing because their friends are working or busy, um, and knowing many people without boats that want to go fishing or want to go for a sail on the weekend, so how good would it be if you can easily go to a website and say, I'm in this city, I want to go fishing, who will take me out? Boatsurfers.com fundamentally gets more people on more boats more often. So what it does is put people who are looking to go out on a boat in touch with people that have a boat and want to go out on it. Whether it be for fishing, sailing, diving, maybe a snorkel, or just to cruise around a river. So let's say Sam, he's from Auckland, New Zealand. He wants to come to Tasmania, he wants to check out the sites, he wants to tour around and he wants to get out on the water. He's a boat man, he likes to go diving, he likes to go fishing and anytime he can get on a boat he wants to. So what are the options for Sam? He can look up some commercial charters and, and pay a fair bit of money or he can go to boatsurfers.com, look up Tasmania and see who's available to take him out on, on a trip that he wants to go on. He goes to the search box, types in Hobart, ticks the box for fishing and goes search. If you wanted to, if you wanted to go sailing, if you wanted to go diving, maybe you just want to go for a cruise around the river, you can search for any of those fields as well. So Sam has a bunch of boat surfers to look at in Hobart. How does he choose which one he wants to go on a trip with? Has a look at their profiles, maybe they have similar interests to what Sam has. They do the activities that they have listed, are the activities that Sam wants to do. All he needs to do is all click on organise a trip and add the dates that he wants to go on a trip. In this case, he selected Moz and Hooch. So Moz and Hooch get an email saying a boat surfer wants to go on a trip with you and they, they log into their account. They can see Sam's profile, a bit about Sam, what he likes to do, where he's from, and it tells them the dates that he's in the area. He's got a lot of rubbish emails these days, Hooch. Yeah, it's a bit of drama. There's one here from boatsurfers.com. Oh yeah, we registered for that last week. Yeah, it looks like there's a guy down here. We might uh, log on and shoot him a message. What do you reckon? Yeah, shoot over to the website and uh, see what if the message is about. Are you on for a fish this weekend? Yeah, why not? Boat's good to go. So if Moz and Hooch like the look of Sam, they can click Accept Trip. It'll take them through to a separate section on the site where they can organise the details. All right, we're logged on here. The guy's Sam. He's from New Zealand. He's in Hobart this weekend. He's a Kiwi. Yeah, yeah. Like fishing, work. diving. He's into some fishing, cruising. Loves his tuna. Yeah, yeah, yes indeed. Well, we might shoot him a message and uh, see if he's keen. I think he's a chance. So they've organised their trip, they've worked out who's bringing what, they're working out when, they've worked out when they want to go and where they're going to meet. All that's left to do is get out on the boat. Come on guys, get that gear down here, let's go. Roger man, you ready for it? Ready to go. Let's go Sam, load her up, grab the rods, grab the reels. Well fingers crossed there's a 100 kilo tuna out there with your name on it. Oh, I thought you told me there was a 200 last night. Easy. Whoa! That might have been the big time. <laughs> Lovely work. Get us stoned, eh? We've got to get out there. Alright boys, load up. Let's go. Yeah, you got heaps this side. Ah, no, bro. Oh, no. Ah, no. Oh, I'm peach. I'm peach. Yes. I'm peach. 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 i am so uh, get your best lures in and get ready to, uh, to strike. The weather's a bit wild. Righto, well we've got the little gear out now, Sam. We'll uh, see if we can't find a Maui or something. Maui, uh, fresh Maui goes on the barbecue tonight, so um, I think Morrisby's 
I was just bought some olive oil. We'll uh, yeah. hopefully try and put one on the deck. So let's say uh, let's make this interesting. In the spirit of the Anzacs, uh, we'll go first fish and biggest fish. Sounds good. Right, oh, she's on. Much further. And just now turn left hand down and go along the wall of the rock. Adrian's just going to put us on the spot. He's failed to do so. Yeah, he's been a bit slack today, hasn't he? Yeah, hasn't he? Yeah. A mm -hmm. little bit of pressure on Adrian. Now there's a little bit of a rule on this boat, Sam. Yep. Whatever fish we catch, we'll put in the live well first up, right? Yep. And if he doesn't put us on a tuna for the rest of the day, he's actually got to bite the head off it. I think that's fair enough. So let's catch a gurnet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the old spiky carrot. There's plenty of fish down there at the moment. Damn, I thought. Ain't nobody got time for those. Oh, you've had a couple of nimbules. So that's all they are. Tough luck, Kiwi. Until you story walking. Oh, you'll, you'll still look pretty intact. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mess. That looks like an alien. <laughs> what are you up to, mate? Trying a bit of jigging, just for something a little bit different. A bit of power jigging. Jeez, oh. this has got some power in that, hasn't it? It certainly has, but uh, there doesn't seem to be a fish on the end of it. Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, that's the art of jigging. I haven't really perfected it myself yet, Sam, no. I can see that. Ooh. There he is, we're on. We're in the one. Go Sambo, first fish of the day, you've knocked Hooch off. Oh, two flathead, double up, good size, we can eat them too. Get them on board, man. Nice work, Rocket. that is a good Rocket pair of flatties. In the old gill tank, if you don't mind. All right. First fish you've caught in Australia? Yep. You caught flatties before? No. Haven't you? No. First ever flatty first, ever. First ever flatty. First, and it's a double. A double. Now you've got to be careful with them. They'll, yep. they'll lay some uh, nasty spines on it. There's a little bit of toxin on the top. It's not really yep. toxin, it's just slime. And see these suckers there? See these horns? They'll get you every day of the week there. Yep. And they're, they're fairly sharp in here somewhere too. So. Right. Where's our measuring big gun? Yeah. Well, Conte. Have a, have a bit on a boat with a pie warmer, a pie. Nice. Looks beautiful. Don't forget to blow on the pie. Mm. A bit heavy for the... Lovely. Beautiful. That's a lovely looking thing. Well then, uh, Sambo, there's a uh, nice Tasmanian Southern Calamari. Very pretty. What's it feel like? Feels like moss. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll nangle him. Over here, Sam, is the wreck of the William Pitt. Now, it's a uh, steam hopper, as it was called, built in 1904 in England. Brought out to Australia in 1940 and used uh, primary to help build the Tasmanian floating bridge across the Derwin, which is the first floating bridge, uh, I believe, in the Southern Hemisphere. And uh, that then was brought around here in 1955 and sunk as a breakwater uh, for the boats to anchor in the calm here as well as it's a good diving spot. And I know you love a bit of diving and uh, mate, that is a really top spot down there. You get right down in amongst the hull of the ship and apparently it's pretty spectacular. Awesome. Just Adrian, uh, just on that, are we here to tell Sam and uh, treat him to hunks of steel or are we here to catch him for fish? I think it's time we went back out there to the nasty stuff and try to find a tuna, what do you reckon? If you have a look out there, the weather looks like uh, it's on the improve. Yeah, we can see the rock now, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Sam, well, uh, this is actually pretty heavy going. We ordinarily uh, wouldn't fish a competition in this. You'd probably fish recreationally in this if you if you uh, was 
super mad keen, but uh, normally you'd still be in bed. Exactly what these guys are keen as well, so. They are pretty keen. Can't beat them, join them. And I reckon they've said, uh, well, if they're going to the rock, so are we. <laughs> but no, this has got every bit of 35 plus knots on it. We've got probably five metres of swirl. Uh, today, man, that was that was awesome. Uh, just everything worked really well. Like getting in contact with them, the guys were great. Everything was easy. Um, fishing was really hard, but hey, you can't. Well, the weather doesn't play ball. You can't. You can't do much. Well, how good was that? Great day. Didn't catch a fish, but how about the pies? He said he was going to bring pies. No oh, great pies. Yeah, man, party pies. They were ace. He bought that chicken and camembert, pepper and steak. Tie. Pies. And the weather wasn't so good, but we had a ball. I think he's experienced a lot of the Tasmania. A lot of people just aren't going to experience it. It was a fabulous day. What a great chance to meet, to meet someone of his calibre, sort of all the way from New Zealand. Now we can turn around and go to New Zealand and fish with him. Man. Yeah. Great concept, love it, and I'm super keen to do it again. So interesting statistic, in Australia there's nearly a million registered boats. And out of those boats, boat owners, they might only use their boat five to six times a year. So everyone wants to get out of the water, we want to get people out from behind the computer screens, from their house and, and doing something. Many people who can't afford boats still want to go out on the water. People with boats can't use them because they can't find crew, or they don't have a reason to go. So BoatSurfers.com, we're getting more people out on the water, which is good for everyone. So whether you've got a boat or not, if you like what BoatSurfers.com is about, jump on the site. It's free to have a look around. You don't need to sign up. Who knows, you might find yourself on a boat this weekend.